F1 2021 predictions. Let's start off with the constructors. Top sport has to go to Mercedes. Why, you may ask? Mercedes have dominated the hybrid era, and they were that far ahead in 2020 that Lewis Hamilton stated they've already stopped working on the 2020 car and started developing next year's car to keep one step ahead. Now, moving on to second, Red Bull have to take second. As you've heard, although Red Bull will be stronger next year, I feel Mercedes will be too good for them. Even with a new driver lineup of Verstappen and Perez, possibly the best lineup on the grid, it's uncertain if Perez will live up to the expectations Red Bull want. We've seen the likes of Pierre Gasly and Alex Albon struggle in the Red Bull as it looks tough to drive. Although this is the case, I definitely think Red Bull will take seconds. Next up, up at McLaren. Although anyone in the midfield could take this spot, I think McLaren will be very strong next year. And I know they've lost Carlos Sainz, but they have a lot of potential in Lando Norris, who got his first podium in the opener. To add to this, they replaced Sainz with Daniel Ricciardo, one of the best drivers on the grid, with wins, podiums and experience at Red Bull. He also had a very strong season last year, with soon to be Alpine. In my eyes, this opens them up to have a competitive team and a competitive car for next year. Coming in behind McLaren, I've put Ferrari. My reasoning for this is that they've set their standards so high with a goal being a minimum of third in the constructors, and with a new and improved engine for next year, who knows how far they can actually get them. Although I've put them as fourth and not their predicted third, I'm not really sure with Ferrari, as they could surprise us or have another disappointing season. Charles Leclerc really outperformed the car, making it look better than it was last season, and even with the arrival of science, how much can their new engine really push them up the grid? I guess we'll see in Barcelona. Next up, I've gone for Aston Martin. The former Racing Point team was very strong last season. However, the decision to get rid of Perez will definitely cost them. Perez was on fire last season. He got his first ever win and finished fourth last season, almost doubling his teammates' points in the standings. I see Stroll as rather average, and not the driver they really need for the next step forward. However, this won't change any time soon with his dad owning the company. Vettel may or may not be a four-time world champion, but that was a long time ago. He could have had one or two more championships at Ferrari if it wasn't for errors and mistakes on track. And after an embarrassing season with Ferrari and becoming number two there, it's coming clear to me that he's a very inconsistent driver these days. And although I want to see him back at his best, he had no right to take Perez's seat like that. So I'm not really sure where his future or racing point slash Aston Martin's future really lies. The team I've got down to trail Aston Martin is Alpine. Although Fernando Alonso's had a really great career, I just don't see him living up to the expectations and being as good as he used to be. However, I do want to see him prove me wrong because I'd really like to see him do well. Moving on to Ocon. Although people may have overlooked him last season because he was second driver, and Ricardo almost doubled his points, he didn't do a terrible job and managed to get second at Bahrain. And if anything, it'll be interesting to see what Fernando Alonso can teach the kid. Coming in at the same place as last season, I've put Alpha Tauri. In 2020, Alpha Tauri weren't quite in the midfield pack, however, had a car that could challenge for points, and even won at Monza. Gasly had an outstanding season with his sister Red Bull team, with impressive rookie Yuki Tsunoda, who knows what they could pull off. To start off the bottom three, I've gone for Alfa Romeo. Kimi did a very solid job last year, and is happy there. Also, Giovinazzi is improving and learning from Kimi every race, and I think they'll grab 10-20 to 20 points between them. Second from bottom, I've gone for Williams. I think the car will slightly improve, and with a young and talented George Russell, they might even have a chance of getting a point or two. Last but not least, we have Haas. Haas have brought in two rookies, one being talented F2 winner Mick Schumacher, and the other promising rookie Mazepin. And with an improved car in 2022, and a year to gain experience, these two could be ones to watch in the future. There you have it. It's my F1 2021 constructors. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below your opinion. Stay tuned for part two on the drivers. Until then, see you next time and peace.